morning boys and girls. Today is Monday, March 16th, 2020. Let's think about our days, counting one through 16. If you'd count along with me, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Here's our number 16. A one and a six makes 16. So let's think about what tomorrow will be. Tomorrow will be, what comes after 16? 17. A one and a seven makes 17. And tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. So we'll talk about that a little bit tomorrow. But let's start our day like we do every day. And let's say our morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God made the whole world, and God made the sky. God made the fish, and the birds that fly. God made the flowers, the animals, and the trees so tall. God made everything, great and small. God made all that I can see. God made you and God made me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing our Pledge of Allegiance. Hand on your heart, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, boys and girls. I miss seeing your faces, and I thought maybe today we could read a story about today being the day before St. Patrick's Day. Now, I'm sitting in my kitchen here today. I wonder where you're at. And my son, Patrick, is videotaping me today. So we're going to read this story together. There we are. And that was Patrick. Okay, so the story we're reading today is The Night Before St. Patrick's Day. That's what today is. The 16th comes before 17th, and March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. And the author, the person that wrote the words, is Natasha Wing, and the illustrator, the person that drew the pictures, is Amy Wummer. Now, on some of the pages, you're going to see that there's a leprechaun on that page. I wonder if you'll be able to find the leprechaun. The night before St. Patrick's Day. Will you be able to find the leprechaun on each page? Twas the night before St. Patrick's Day, the day to wear green. Here's the March calendar. All the days are done till the 15th. That was yesterday. Here's today's date, the 16th, and tomorrow the 17th is St. Patrick's Day. Can you see the leprechaun? Not a creature was stirring, except Tim and Maureen. There they have all the decorations out. Do you see the leprechaun? Looks like he's on the right page. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Look at that house. Do you see the leprechaun? I think he might be on the left page. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they find where he buried his big pot of gold. Here's their plan, how to catch a leprechaun. They're going to use a shiny ring and they're gonna pull a string to catch him. Can you see the leprechaun? They set all the traps round the room with great care in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. They're getting all their traps ready trying to catch that leprechaun. The children then nestled all snug in their beds 
while visions of golden coins danced in their heads. It looks like they're dreaming of their coins. What's the dog dreaming about? Looks like he wants a bone. And there's their one of their traps. There's the gold coin, the shiny ring. Happy St. Patty's, said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. It looks like they're getting ready to do the jig. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. I like how even the dog looks like he's singing along. So silly. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter, the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wondering eyes should appear? Can you see the leprechaun? Looks like he's been there. But a terrible mess! A leprechaun was here. Oh, leprechauns like to cause so much trouble. Look at that mess. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor. Will they find him? Which led them under Tim's bed and past the closet door. And then inside a trap, they heard someone giggling, a real live leprechaun. They both saw him wiggling. Is he in there? Did they catch one? His eyes, how they twinkled, his body so tiny. His hand clasped a trinket so golden and shiny. He was dressed in all green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky, no lies. I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's marked with an X right in your backyard. Do you think they found the treasure? They have to look for a rock with an X. But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. Oh my goodness, look at all those rocks with X's on it. Oh, that leprechaun. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Ha ha, I fooled you. It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you and better luck next year. That was a good story. Okay, boys and girls, tomorrow we're going to do a little activity with our letter S. That's our new letter for this week, S. Makes the sound like a snake, S. And we're going to do a little sorting and a little counting. So I look forward to seeing you then. Toodaloo.